Hello YouTube. Shush. Crazy Robot Lady here. Um, I know I may not be in this shot, but uh, I've spent about 30 minutes fighting with this camera today. The light must be really weird outside. Um, I can only get the trio to show up. Whenever I try to put me in, it says somebody is at the far right edge. It's like one face near right edge or something. So you may not see me today at all, but that's okay. Maybe it'll focus on me when I have to get up and move. But anyway, welcome to day four of getting to know 1987 Playmates Quirky. Today, we are gonna be focusing on camping and going to the lake and doing all sorts of fun things and exhausting all the grown-ups in our lives. At least for us, it would be exhausting all of the people who think we are absolutely weird and stupid and don't need to exist. Anyway, so today we are doing the program tape, Corky's Adventure Scouts. And I'm not even going to make the comment on comments anymore because I think YouTube has figured out my trick and I've had to turn comments on at least twice um, and it's quite annoying but if you guys can't comment here comment on a video that has comments on and I will respond there I am so sorry this is none of my doing all right, let's go. And I did not warm up Corky's eyes today, so I am not sure what's going to happen. Uh-oh, and his baseball is missing. Oh, well. <sighs> The best of friends, you and me, pal. The fun will never end. Hi, this is your old pal Corky talking to ya. Wow, we! It's time for meeting the Adventure Scouts. I hope you're ready, cause we always have lots of fun. First, let's sing the Scout song, and why don't you march along? No, I don't want to. Who is there till the work is done? Who is fair when the race is run? Who's daring and brave in everything they do? The Adventure Scouts, that's who. Who can always be counted on? Who's a friend to depend upon? Who's got good just for me and you, the Adventure Scouts, that's who. Now join right in, cause you belong, and if you know it, sing out strong. Stand up proud, stand up tall, march along, one and all. Who is there till the work is done? Who is fair when the race is run? Who's daring and brave in everything they do? The Adventure Scouts, that's who. Last summer, Corky's Adventure Scouts went camping at Lake Ulamagula, way up in the Yalabali Mountains. There was Zachary and Jonathan and Jonathan's little brother, Aaron, and their dad, Mr. Sherman. And oh yeah, there was me, Corky. We all got up really early and loaded our sleeping bags and tents and camp stove into Mr. Sherman's van. <laughs> there was so much stuff, there wasn't any room left for us. But we squeezed in anyhow, and drove a long ways up to the lake. And on the way, we sang a camping song. If you know it, sing along. Nope. A Not camping doing that we will go, a camping we will go. Hi ho the dairy -o. a camping we will go. Well, I have no as soon as we got to Lake Ormagula, 
We all jumped out of the van and ran down to the water. Let's go swimming, said Jonathan. Yay, we all said. Let's go swimming right now. Wait just a minute, said Mr. Sherman. Nobody's going swimming until we put up our tents. So me and Zachary set up our tents, and Aaron and Jonathan set up theirs. And Mr. Sherman set up his tent, too. Now can we go swimming, said Jonathan. Okay, said Mr. Sherman. Now you can go swimming. But be careful. Watch out for the rocks. Yeah, said Aaron, and for sharks, too. There's no sharks in Lake Ulamagula, said Zach. Oh, yeah, said Aaron. I knew that. And then we all went for a swim, except for Mr. Sherman. He said he was going to be the lifeguard, but I think he just needed a rest. We had a great time swimming, and we even sang another part of our camping song. I bet you know it. A swimming we will go, a swimming we will go. Hi, ho, the dairy -o. a swimming we will go. After we finished swimming, we put our clothes back on. And then Jonathan said, let's go hiking. But, said Mr. Sherman, aren't you guys tired? No, we all said, we want to go hiking right now. <laughs> okay, said Mr. Sherman, let's go. So we all went hiking into the woods. Better look out for poison oak, said Jonathan. And for Bigfoot, too, said Zach. Is Bigfoot really in these woods, said Aaron? No, said Mr. Sherman, but there is some poison oak, so watch your step. So we all watched our steps, and nobody got poison oak. And Mr. Sherman was right. We didn't see Bigfoot, but we did see a deer and a fox. And we heard some coyotes, too. And all along the trail, we sang another part of our song. A hiking we will go, a hiking we will go. Hi ho the dairy -o. a hiking we will go. As soon as we got back to camp, we built our campfire. For supper, we had hot dogs and beans, and we had toasted marshmallows for dessert. Boy, oh boy! They sure were good. And then we all sat around the campfire telling stories and singing songs. And then when it was really late, Mr. Sherman said, aren't you guys tired yet? No, we all said, we want to sing one more song right now. And I bet you you can guess which one it was. Why don't you sing along? <laughs> a camping we will go, a camping we will go. Hi ho the dairy -o. a camping we will go. One night on our camping trip, it rained really hard. There was lots of lightning and the thunder was so loud, I think some of the adventure scouts got kind of scared. But I thought up a neat game about loud things and pretty soon we all forgot all about the thunder. Hey, let's play my game right now. Okay. Here's what you do. I'll name three things and you tell me which one is the loudest. Here we go. Which one is the loudest? A lion roaring, a dog barking, or a mouse squeaking? A lion roaring. Roar. A squeaking mouse isn't very loud, and a barking dog is a little louder, but a lion's roar is the loudest of all. If you said the lion, you got it right. Now try another one. Which one is the loudest? A car horn, a doorbell, or a fire truck siren? The answer is... It's the fire truck a siren. A fire truck siren. Now try this one. When are you the loudest? When you whisper, when you talk, or when you shout? When you shout! I'll bet you got that one right. You're the loudest when you shout. And that's a fact. Gee, you're really good at that game. Thanks. And here's something else I'll bet you're good at. It's a clapping song. First, you're going to clap your hands up high, and then you're going to clap your hands down low. Are you ready? Here it goes. Is this the one with the dog? My little doggy yep. went to town. Clap hands up, clap hands down. He wanted to ride on the merry-go-round. Clap hands up, clap hands down. Now get ready. 
need to clap your hands in front of you and then in back. He packed his lunch in a paper sack. Clap in front, clap in back. He jumped on the train going down the track. Clap in front, clap in back. Now clap your hands near to yourself and then as far away as you can. He traveled around in a big box car. Clap hands near, clap hands far. He sang and he played an old guitar. Clap hands near, clap hands far. Get ready to clap your hands soft and then loud. He did a little dance and then he bowed. Clap hands soft, clap hands loud. He sure knew how to please a crowd. Clap hands soft, clap hands loud. Now get ready to clap your hands up and down again. <laughs> My little dog came back from town. Clap hands up, clap hands down. He never did ride on the merry-go-round. Clap hands up, clap hands down. Up, down, up and down. Clap hands up and clap hands down. <laughs> Last week, my dad took some of us adventure scouts bird watching. He wanted us to look for a special bird. It's called a four-note Liberty Gibbet. It's called that because the song it sings always has four notes, like this. One, two, three, four. Tell you what, you can help me find the four note Liberty Gibbet. Hey, here comes a bird right now. Let's listen and see if it's a Liberty Gibbet. One, two. Was that a four note Liberty Gibbet? Nope. The answer is no. That bird only chirped two times. Uh-oh, here comes another bird. Listen and count the notes. One, two, three. Was that a four-note Flippity Chibbit? Nope. If you said no, you were right. Now let's check this bird out. One, two, three, four. What do you think? Was that a four-note Flippity Chibbit? Yep. The answer is yes. That bird chirped four times. I really like bird watching. It's fun, and you can do it right in your own backyard. But don't look for a four-note flippity gibbet, because they're hard to find. <laughs> and that's a fact. They don't exist. <laughs> We're gonna go on a make-believe adventure right now. So strap on your helmet and snap on your goggles and don't forget your parachute. Oh, we're gonna be stunt pilots in Corky's Flying Circus. Oh. And here she is, Ace, the shooting star. Just like the planes, the stunt pilots used to fly. Cool. Way back before there were jets and rockets and spaceships. We're gonna take her up and do some tricks. And guess what? You get to be the pilot, so climb aboard. That's it, Ace. The pilot rides in the front cockpit. I'll be your co-pilot, so I'll sit in the back. Now the first thing you gotta do is check out your flight controls. I'll say the names, and you say check after each one. Ready? Check your fuel gauge. Check. Check your speed gauge. Check speed gauge. Check your altitude gauge. Check. Great! Your flight controls check out A-OK. -okay. Now we're gonna taxi down the runway. So put your right hand on the throttle stick. Good. The ground crew is waving. So we're all clear to take off. Pull back on the throttle. Slowly. That's it. We're heading down the runway. We're almost ready. Almost. Now, pull back the throttle Thanks. all the way. All right, pal. You did it. We're, we're in the air. <laughs> the first stunt we're going to try is the rollover. You know what that is, don't you? Yep. That's when you turn the plane upside down and then back over again. So you better be sure the seatbelt's on tight. Are you ready? Yep. Great, me too. When I give you the signal, you turn the throttle in a circle. And I'll keep my fingers crossed. Here we go. Roll over. Whoa! Way to go, Ace. You must have done this 
kind of thing before. Okay now, it's time for an even fancier stunt. First you've got to pull back on the throttle, and then you got to push it forward. Understand? Yeah. First pull, then push. So get ready. Oops. Pull back on the throttle now. No, we're That's it. Falling. We're climbing higher Here we and go. higher. Yay. Don't la, 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 push la, la, forward la. yet. Not la, yet. La, la. We're getting way too high now. Now, push the throttle forward. Here we Yay. go. Back down to the bottom of the loop. All right. We did it. But our show isn't over yet. The last stunt is the trickiest of them all. We're gonna fly as high as a shooting star will go. And then we're gonna turn off the engine and dive. Okay, here we go. Pull back on the throttle and let's head for the clouds. 200 feet, 400 feet, 600 feet. I think I stuck my climbing. stomach down there somewhere. 800 feet, uh. 1,000 feet high. This is it, Ace. Turn off the engine. Now! And we're in the dive. 800 feet, 600 feet, we're diving faster. 400 feet, get ready to turn her back on. 200 feet, now turn the engine on, now! You did it, Ace, we're out of the dive. We're leveling off. Boy, oh boy, you sure had me worried. Uh, <laughs> Just you? kidding, pal. Me too. I knew you could do it. And that's a fact. Gee, pal, you sure make a great scout. If you want, you can turn my tape over now. And we can have some more fun. Or we can take a break, and I'll see you later. But just remember, I'll be talking to you. Buttoned him all up so he would look nice. That just makes more fun for me, huh? Sorry about all the clanging. It's it's very hot outside right now. And for me to say it's hot, it's blooming hot. Because I don't normally get hot. I just don't have that button. Uh, so we've got the windows open. Okay. Excuse me. the adventure scouts went to the zoo it was really neat on the way oh, home no. we played a fun game oh. we pretended we were wild animals in the jungle like lions and gorillas which wild animal is your favorite a zebra tell you what i'll sing a song about some animals and you can pretend to be all of them <laughs> Would you like to be a lion? Was that the animal you chose? Nope. Would you like to be a lion? Show me how a lion goes. Roar like a lion. Roar. Roar some more like a lion. Walk around like a lion. <laughs> Lie down like a lion.
Scarecrow. I hope you got your riding boots on, because we're going to take a trip back to the old Wild West. Yes, siree. It's time for another long ago adventure. And this one's about the king of the mountain men, Kit Carson. When Kit was a boy, the one thing in the whole world he wanted to be was a mountain man. Only problem was, Kit lived in Missouri, and the Rocky Mountains were far away in the west. But every day, Kit went into the woods and hunted for game. He learned to read animal tracks and to shoot straight. And every night when Kit came home, he watched the wagon trains roll out of town. Then one day, Kit couldn't wait anymore. He put on his jacket, took his rifle and powder horn, and went to the wagon master. What can I do for you, said Captain Ben. I want to be a scout for your wagon train, said Kit. What good will you be, said a man named Jed. You're just a kid. I can shoot as straight as you can, said Kit. Oh, yeah, said Jed. We'll see about that. So everybody got ready to have a shooting match. Captain Beth put up a target on the tree, and Kit and Jed lined up side by side. Stand back, said Jed. I'll show you how a real scout shoots. Jed loaded his rifle, aimed, and fired. He hit the bullseye right in the middle. See if you can beat that, said Jed. Well, Kit knew if he missed, he might never get to go to the Rocky Mountains. He was really nervous, but he didn't show it. He loaded his rifle, took a careful aim, and fired. Ha ha, said Jed. The kid missed the bullseye and the whole target, too. But Kit knew he was a better shot than that. Follow me, he said to the men. So they all walked up to the target, and Captain Bent took out his hunting knife. He dug one rifle ball out of the bullseye, and then he dug another one. It's Kit's shot, said Captain Bent, right on top of Jed's. And then everybody cheered. Hooray! Hooray for Kit Carson! And Captain Bent said, Grab yourself a pony, Kit. I guess we could use another sharpshooting scout. Yay, Kit shouted. I'm really a mountain man now. And later on, he became an explorer. He even joined the Pony Express. But everywhere he went, people always called him the same thing. Kit Carson, King of the Mountain Men. Remember the story I told you about our trip to Lake Oomagula? Yeah. Well, while I was there, a whole bunch of ducks came flying by, and five of them landed right on the lake. They were all pretty noisy, but there was one little duck who was the noisiest of them all. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll sing you a song about some ducks, and you can pretend you're the noisy one. Uh, when I say he led them all, you say quack, quack, quack. Just like that noisy little duck. Well, I can Here do we that. go. Five little ducks that I once knew. Tall one, short one, skinny one too. But the one little duck with a feather on his back, he led them all with a quack, quack, quack. Yes, he led them all with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with a feather on his back, he led them all with a quack, quack, quack. Yes, he led them all with a quack, quack, quack. Five little ducks, they swam to shore. Then they swam around the lake some more. But the one little duck with a feather on his back, he led them all with a quack, quack, quack. He led them all with a quack, quack, quack. Yes, he led them all with a quack, quack, quack. That was a fun song. And now I've got a fun story to tell you. You can help me tell it and play it with numbers at the same time. Here's all you do. Listen to the story, and whenever I say a number, you hold up that many fingers. Let's practice. Some of the adventure scouts went on a nature walk. There were three scouts. Did you hold up three fingers? I hope so, because three is the number I said. Now let's play for real. Listen for the numbers and put up that many fingers in the air. Some of the adventure scouts went on a nature walk. There were three scouts, Billy, Zach, and me. At the edge of the woods, there were two trails. Zach wanted to take the left trail, 
but Billy wanted to take the right trail. So he took a vote. There were two votes for Billy's trail and one vote for Zach's. Two is more than one, said Billy. My trail wins. So we started down Billy's trail. Pretty soon we saw one squirrel. I'll bet there are more squirrels on my trail, said Zach. A little further, we saw two blue jays and four lizards. I'll bet there are more blue jays and lizards on my trail, said Zach. Then we saw three rabbits and four snails <coughs> and two robins. I'll bet there are more rabbits and snails and robins on my trail, said Zach. Just then we came to the end of the trail. And you know what? We were right back where we started. That trail must be one big loop, said Billy. Yeah, said Zach. We were on my trail and Billy's. Right, I said. Instead of two trails, there really was only one. And from that day on, we called it Billy Zach's Trail. And that's a fact. We saw a lot of animals on a nature hike. But here's a game about some animals that we didn't see. I'll tell you about them, and you can see if you can figure out which ones they are. I swing by my tail from tree to tree, and I'll chatter all day if you listen to me. What am I? A monkey. The answer is a monkey. Here's another one. I'm big because I eat all summer and then I sleep all winter inside my den. What am I? A bear? The right answer is a bear. A bear. Let's try one more. Ooh. I slide on the ground. I'm long and thin. And once a year, I shed my skin. What am I? A snake! If you said a snake, you got it right. Guessing animals is lots of fun. It is. But there's more exciting stuff in store for the Adventure Scouts, and it's coming right up. Okay, pal, it's time for another Let's Pretend Adventure together. We're going to go back up to the woods and take a canoe trip down the Snake River. Are you ready? Well, all right, let's go. The first thing we gotta do is launch a canoe. It's a super two-seater called the Wild Duck, and you're gonna be the bow paddler. That means you sit in front, so I'll hold the canoe and you get in. Steady, that's it. Okay now, pick up your paddle and stick it straight down into the riverbed. Hold the canoe steady while I get in. Thanks, oh yeah. Better check the straps on your life jacket. We're gonna be running some rapids today and it might get a little rough. Is your life jacket on good and tight? Yep. All right, let's shove off. Okay, pal, the first part of the river is nice and calm. Let's paddle out into the current. You paddle on the right side of the canoe and I'll paddle on the left. That's the way, stroke. Stroke. Nice and easy. We have to save up our energy for those rapids. Great. We're in the middle of the river now. The current's taking us downstream. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's pretend we're Indian braves on a hunting trip. <coughs> I even know a song that the Indians used to sing in their canoes. It goes like this. Dip, dip, and swing them back, flashing like silver. Swift as the wild duck's flight, dip, dip, and swing. Why don't you sing along, but keep paddling? Dip, dip, and swing them back, flashing like silver. Swift as the wild duck's flight, dip, dip, and swing. Good job, Scout. We're just cruising right along. But uh-oh, I can see Gooseneck Bend up ahead. It's a switchback, so we're gonna have to do some fancy canoeing. Keep your paddle on the right side, but get ready to switch when I tell ya. Okay, here comes the first part of the bend. 
We're going with the current now. But here comes the switchback. Quick, switch your paddle to the left side of the canoe and dig deep. We're going against the current now. Let me see that power stroke, big guy. That's the way. Uh-oh. There's those big sandbars straight ahead. Uh -oh. Better switch your paddle back to the right side and keep stroking. Phew, we missed it. Good job, pal. I sure don't want to get stuck in the middle of Snake River. I love Snake River. we're not out of trouble yet. Oh, Here comes Wild Horse Rapids. Oh, and no, that's wild. just what we're in for. Oh, no. A wild ride. Hold on tight, pal. We're really going to have to work together. Um, we're at the head of the rapids now, so keep paddling nice and steady. All right, we made it to the center of the current. Now all we got to do is stay away from the rock, and we'll be okay. Uh-oh, there's a big one on your left. Let's both paddle from the left side. Stroke, stroke, faster. Whoa, we made it. Just one more thing we got to watch out for. It's called the whirlpool. And if we get caught in it, we're in big trouble. Yeah. I'm not sure where it is, but uh-oh, now I know we're in it. Oh, great. Come on, buddy, give it all you've got. Stroke, stroke, keep it up. I think we're going to make it. Yay, we did it. We're out of the whirlpool and into the calm water. We can coast the rest of the way. Boy, oh boy. We would have made great Indian braves. Don't you think so, Scout? Maybe. Gee, pal, this meeting of the Adventure Scouts has sure been lots of fun. Hope you can make it next time, because you're a great Scout. And that's the fact. Who can always be counted on? Who's a friend to depend upon? Who's got good times just for me and you, the Adventure Scout? That's who. If you want, you can turn my tape over now. And just remember, I'll be talking to ya. Alright, guys. Um... I don't know how much of me you saw. I feel like I might have to do this video again, which, you know, I won't really have a problem with, but, uh, I don't know. I just did not want to focus today. But anyways, I hope all of you enjoyed it. As usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I put up new content. God bless, and I will see you in the next video.